I swear, Fireboy and Watergirl will meet. Hey guys, it's Vignesh from Brandy. Today we're going to learn the intersection point of two linked lists. What is an intersection point? The point where two linked lists emerge and move as one. From here on, they're going to schematically represent it using this format. But in actuality, it might look something like this, where two different linked lists, that is two different heads, merge together and have the same tail. <laughs> okay, I made it seem very weird. But it is a very popular question where you have to find the intersection point of two linked lists if they intersect at all. We'll be approaching using the two pointer approach, which is the fastest and the most efficient method to solve this. Before we see the core of this algorithm, let's use the schematic representation where we split into three different parts. The X is one of the arm of the linked list, Y is the other arm, and Z is the common section, the tail part of their two linked lists. Okay, now here's the core of this algorithm. Assume there is a pointer represented by Fireboy that starts at one of the arms, say X. Let's design a path such that when it starts from X and moves to the end of Z, it wraps over and starts all over again from Y start. This part is clear. This is very important. Now, assume there is another pointer represented by water girl, except the water girl starts at Y start. Similarly, when she reaches the end of Z, it'll wrap over and start at the X. This part is clear? Okay. Here comes a bold statement. The two pointers, Fireboy and Water Girl, will meet not just anywhere but at the intersection point. Why you're asking? Watch this. Exactly. Let's explore why. Fireboy starts at the X arm, goes to the end of Z, and then goes to Y. So cumulatively, it has traveled a distance of X plus Z plus Y. Similarly, Water Girl has traveled a distance of Y plus Z plus X. The total distance is same, and they are moving at the same speed, that is, one node per second or one node per iteration. Hence, they have traveled the same distance at the same speed. Hence, they will meet at the same point at the same time which is the intersection point in this case. Well, that's the core of this algorithm. Now, think about it for a moment or two to let it fully sink in. Now, if a task was to find if there is an intersection between two linked lists, and if there is, what at what point does it intersect? Then, we would have this case where there is no intersection at all. How do we find out that there is no intersection between them using this algorithm? Well, if they were two independent linked lists and there is no intersection between them, they could be schematically represented as so. What will happen in such a case? In such a case, our two pointers, Fireboy and Water Girl, will meet at null. I'll explain why. Okay, here's why. The Fireboy will start at X and will have traveled the end of Y. And Water Girl will have traveled from Y to the end of X. Both will reach the end of the list at the same time. Therefore, they will be at null, which could be represented in linked list terms something like this. First, the Fireboy will travel to the end of Y, and then Watergirl will travel to the end of X, and together, since they are at null, they will be equal to each other. That is, the two pointers are equal. Hence, we can terminate the loop. Don't worry too much. If you understand the core of this algorithm and why they will meet, that is more than enough. Watch the coding video to fully solidify your understanding. I'm going to add this nicely now. Watch the video. Now, C++ or Python or Java. This is the fastest and the simplest method to solve this. If somebody like says something else in Tamil, don't listen to them. Brevity for life.